Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is always a privilege to start our annual meeting in Davos with this ceremony of the Crystal Awards. We are honoring exceptional personalities who are outstanding artists and cultural leaders. At the same time, they are concerned about the many problems the world is facing, and they are committed to help finding solutions. The Crystal Award was created in 1995, together with our late friend, Lord Yehudi Menuhin. In the last 21 years of its existence, we have recognized many artists from around the globe. All of them embrace the mission of the World Economic Forum to improve the state of the world. Today, as we witness a polarization of civilizations, artists and cultural leaders have a special role to play as bridge builders. They enlighten us and show us that in the end, we have to share the same basic values. It is now my great pleasure to introduce to you the 2015 awardees. Andrea Bocelli, tenor and founder, Andrea Bocelli Foundation. Most of you have probably heard Andrea Bocelli sing, but if not, this is your moment. He has agreed to perform with the orchestra for us at the end of this ceremony. Andrea was born in Tuscany, Italy. At the age of six, he started piano lessons and later also learned to play the flute, saxophone, trumpet, trombone, guitar, and drums. One day, his nanny played the record of Franco Corelli, and this moment changed his life. He realized then that pursuing the career of a tenor was his destiny. It's good for us. <laughs> Today, he is recognized as one of the greatest singing talents in the world. He has performed with Luciano Parotti, has sung for the Pope, and with Sarah Brightman, the unforgettable time to say goodbye. He has a deep passion for equality and for supporting those who face barriers in their lives based on his own experience. The Andrea Bocelli Foundation is focused on projects that provide opportunities for the most vulnerable members of society in Italy and abroad, notably in Haiti, in areas such as education and access to clean water. Furthermore, the Foundation is working in collaboration with the MIT to develop technology to help the blind live more independent lives. Join me on stage. Thank you very much. I I really hope you would you will be happy to listen to the sound of my language, of Italian language, because when I have to try to say something a little bit serious, I prefer to do it in my language. So sono molto felice e molto commosso per eh, aver ricevuto questo premio. I am very happy and moved for having received this award. Anche perché come accade spesso agli uomini, questo premio viene dato alla persona che forse meno lo ha meritato. Because as it always happens with men, uh, this award goes to the person who probably less Deserve, least deserved it. 
cioè non di meno qualcuno in realtà ha meritato questo premio. Viviamo nel, in un'epoca in cui la, la donna ha acquistato un grande spessore eh, e la mia fondazione nasce quattro anni fa eh, nel segno delle donne, possiamo dire. However, there are people who did deserve this award. As you all know, we are living in an era in which women are gaining more and more importance. And my foundation was created four years ago under the aegis, so to speak, of women. Dal giorno in cui la fondazione è nata ci sono state tre, tre signore, tre, tre donne che veramente hanno dato anima, cuore e cervello al servizio di eh, tutti quei mh, goals che la fondazione si è prefissa. From the beginning of the foundation there are three women who donated their heart, their soul and their brains to the goals of the foundation. Quindi voglio ringraziare sentitamente e condividere questo premio con eh, con eh, Olimpia Angeletti, Veronica Berti e la nostra presidente che è Laura Biancalani. So I would like to thank and share this award with Olimpia Angeletti, Veronica Berti and uh, Laura Biancalani who is the president of the foundation. Proprio ieri sera un amico mi diceva che l'uomo è felice solo quando crea. Essendo stato eh, creato ad immagine e somiglianza del suo creatore, l'uomo in effetti è felice soltanto nel, mo nel momento in cui riesce a realizzare qualcosa di concreto, a creare qualcosa. Last night I was speaking to a friend and he told me that uh, human beings are happy only when they are creators. Because having been made in the image of the creator, of course, Uh, they are only happy when they create themselves. In effetti, uh, le cose che attraverso questo strumento straordinario che è la fondazione siamo riusciti a, a mettere in piedi, a creare in così poco tempo sono cose che realmente ci hanno stupito, ci hanno sorpreso e soprattutto ci hanno fatto felici. So, through this tool, which is the foundation, um, we were able to create in such a short time things that uh, surprised us and made us happy at the same time. Questo premio che oggi ricevo sarà un, uh, un, gran, una grande, un grande incentivo a cercare di meritarlo sempre di più, a far sì che questa fondazione nata così, da, da così poco tempo diventi sempre più una grande opportunità e motivo di grande speranza per, tanti, per tante persone che soffrono. Grazie a tutti. So, I would like this award to be an incentive, an, in an incentive that we need to deserve more and more as time goes by at the Andrea Bocelli Foundation. Uh, because we are so young, but we really want to create more and more opportunities to bring hope to people who are suffering. Thank you very much for your attention. Our next awardee is Shigeru Ban, architect. When Shigeru Ban was a child, carpenters were often hired to renovate the wooden family house in Tokyo. He was fascinated by the traditional work of the carpenters, and he liked to pick pieces of wood to build things. He decided he wanted to become a carpenter, but he became an architect instead and is today one of the most celebrated architects in the world, with offices in Paris, Tokyo, and New York. He has won the Pritzker Prize in 2014, but he is best known for his innovative use of paper and cardboard tubes with which he builds low-cost, scalable, 
durable and dignified shelters for disaster survivors. He has built shelters in Kobe, India, in Turkey, a fisherman's village in Sri Lanka, classrooms in China, and also the famous cardboard church in Christchurch in Australia. Shigeru Ban is primarily concerned with buildings that make use of existing materials and that act as problem solvers. He is a socially responsible architect and a social entrepreneur. Shigeruban, would you please join me on stage? Um, it's a such a happy moment for my life to be here. Um, I I'd like to say, actually, I, after I became an architect, I was very disappointed about my profession as architects, because mainly we are working for privileged people who has money and power. Because power and money is invisible, they hire us to make monument, to visualize their power and money by monumental architecture. I'm not saying I'm not interested in making monument. I'd love to make monument too. But I thought we should use our energy, experience, and knowledge, not only for privileged, but also general public, even people who lost their houses by natural disasters. And I must say, they are no longer natural. They are becoming man-made disasters. For example, people are not killed by earthquake itself. People are killed by collapse of the building. That is our responsibility as architects. But there are no architects working in disaster area because we are too busy working for privileged. But I think we can make them, even the temporary house, more comfortable and beautiful. So that, that I decide to work in disaster area. And the, 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 I really recognize, I really uh, understand this award is such a big uh, encouragement for myself to continue working in disaster area. And also, I really understand that the, uh, the, this award is kind of the, the, the symbol for me that for my 20 years of activities, uh, widening the role of architects, not only for building monument, but also building temporary structure for the uh, disaster relief, disaster areas. Thank you very much, and I continue working for not only privileged people, I love to make monument too, but also for, for the, uh, the, the people who lost the houses. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our third awardee is Angelique Kijo, singer, songwriter, UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. Unfortunately, she will only arrive in Davos later tonight. She was coming from Oman when her plane had to turn back for technical reasons, which made it impossible for her to be with us on time. But she will stay with us throughout the week, and you will have other possibilities to meet her. And this is her Crystal Award, and we will <laughs> deliver it to her. Will be presented to her on one of her, on one of her sessions um, during the week. Angeli Kijo grew up absorbing a range of musical influences, traditional music from her native Bena to Miriam Makeba, Fela Kuti, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Wonder, and many others. Today, Angelique is widely recognized as the Daily Telegraph put it as the undisputed queen of African music. 
She won a Grammy Award for Best Contemporary World Music in 2008, and she is a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. She is a passionate advocate for women's rights and especially the issues of girls' education, which is the focus of her Atonga Foundation. To illustrate her passion, I am going to read a short excerpt from her acceptance speech. Quote, 2014 was a particularly devastating year for children and their families, and perhaps none more so than girls, especially those trying to realize their right to an education. For despite the progress the world has made, some misguided groups and individuals still see a girl with a book as more dangerous than a man with a gun. Schools have been attacked, girls have been assaulted, families fearing for the safety of their daughters have pulled them out of school or refused to send them at all. Many marry off their daughters rather than risk sending them to school, not understanding that by doing this, they endanger them even more. Some have called this enemy the tyranny of low expectations, for if you do not value what the girl can do and become and achieve, then you don't see the value of educating her. An educated girl, especially a girl who has been able to go on to secondary education, not only earns significantly more than over her lifetime, she also improves her family standard of living and helps reduce poverty in her community. It is time that we realize that investing in girls' education, not only primary school, but secondary school and beyond, is the best and one of the most cost-effective investments we can make in our communities and the future we share. But my greatest inspiration will always be the women in my native country, Bina, and everywhere in Africa." End of quote. So we have some images. Yeah. This closes our Crystal Award ceremony. We will now have the great pleasure to hear a traditional concert, and afterwards you are cordially invited to the welcome reception outside of this hall. I would like to thank the Italian Trade Agency and Banca Intesa San Paolo and its chief executive, Mr. Carlo Messina, for their support. Mr. Messina, would you please join me on stage? So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me first start with uh, a, a thanks to the Professor Schwab, his wife, uh, and all the team of the World Economic Forum uh, that is working in order to create such a perfect uh, situation and such a perfect event. Uh, I'm, I'm the CEO of Inter San Paolo. Inter San Paolo is a bank uh, that is really committed to create value for its shareholders. Uh, we are number one uh, in capital strengths in Europe, uh, number one in leverage and liquidity and the revenue growth in Europe. And the, in one year time, our share price increased by 60%, uh, reaching a market cap of 42 billion euros. But we are not only devoted to create value for our shareholders, but also for our stakeholders. This is the reason why we are also number one in Italy in supporting arts, arts culture, and music events. We are the, the sponsor, the main sponsor of Teatro La Scala. And so that the reason why when my friend Giancarlo told me to be the sponsor of this event, I accepted and I'm really happy to be, to be and honored to be the sponsor of this event. In Italy, music is part of the DNA of our country, Verdi, 
uh, Puccini, Rossini, is part of our history, and Bocelli is part of our present, this orchestra is part of our present. So we are really honored to be the sponsor of this event. Let's, let me just add a point uh, on uh, in a very important uh, item that we will have in Italy this year, that is Expo 2015. We, as Intesa San Paolo, are the real global sponsor, financial global sponsor for this uh, very challenging event for our country that is uh, a real engine for growth for Italy. So I hope to enjoy uh, you, your, uh, your uh, that you can participate uh, in these events in Italy uh, during 2015. And so, coming back to music, uh, I have the great honor to introduce and to leave the floor to Mar Mr. Marcello Rota, Maestro Marcello Rota.